Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about one of the interesting topics that is remote state. So in the previous videos we have gone through the concept of the state file, right? Now in this video we'll study about remote state. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, what is a state file? State file is something that keeps the track of your current resources, right? But what is a remote state? Remote state is a feature that allows you to keep your state file in a remote location instead of storing it locally. Now in the previous video, when we executed terraform apply command, this terraform.tf state file got created, right? And that file was something that got created locally. Now we want to store this file somewhere remotely so that multiple members of our team can access the same state file and keep in sync with the other team members as well. Right? So that is the thing. So that is your remote state file. Now, why do we need to use this remote state? That is one thing. So the one thing that needs to be considered as a benefit is this that with when we are working in a team or when we are working with multiple members then in that case we need to share this state file why now consider a scenario that you are making some change to your infrastructure but then your tf state file gets updated right now the other member of your team doesn't have the access of the tf state file that got modified by you right now he will make some other changes the third person will make some other changes so everyone will make some other change and ultimately you can't work in a team so in order to work in a team we require to store this state file remotely so that everyone can access that state file and remain in sync. Okay, so that is one thing. The next thing is that it is more secure in a remote location. State file is very sensitive and since it is very sensitive, it has to be handled safely and securely. So with remote state, we can safely and securely store our TF state file. Okay. And, and the third point is whenever your infrastructure grows, it becomes more complicated to handle the state file. So it is more preferred to store that state file in a remote state. Now, how do we do that? So there are multiple ways or multiple um, locations that can be used for storing our state file. So in this video, we are going to store our TF state file in an S3 bucket, which belongs to the AWS, that is Amazon Web Services. So let's go to our um, console or yeah, so so let's go to our uh, computer and let's try to uh, create S3 bucket and then try to store the TF state file in this particular S3 bucket. So without wasting any time, let's get started with this. So now over here you can see that I have defined the provider as AWS. I have also defined a resource of an EC2 instance right here. Now what I'll be doing is, I'll be first going to my this Amazon Management Console and this is my S3, okay. So I'll go to the create bucket. I will be creating a bucket named my S3 bucket 01, okay. I'll be keeping the region as US East 1 and the rest of the things as it is and create bucket. 
okay so this name already exi exists so let me try with some other name yeah so it's working now okay so this is the bucket that i have created right here now let's go to our vs code and over here i will be defining the terraform block so within the terraform block i will be mentioning a backend now what is a backend so basically backend is somewhere you store your state file okay so i'll be mentioning s3 over here okay and within this i will be mentioning the bucket name over here so i'll just copy it from here to paste it as it is okay so this is the thing then i will be mentioning the key now you must be thinking that what is a key so basically key is nothing but you can consider it as a path that you want to provide for your terraform.tf state file it can be cons you can give any directory and within that directory you can create your terraform.tf state file or any ways you can do that i will simply mention terraform.tf state or let's try to give it a dev folder and within the dev folder i will be storing this terraform.tf state and then i will be mentioning the region right here okay and the region is us east 1 so this is the region that i will be considering so in this way i think we are pretty much ready to go and store our terraform.tf state in our remote location that is s3 okay so this is how it is going to work now let's go and try to execute terraform init command so yeah so now we are done with this okay now the next thing that i will be doing right here is terraform plan command now you can see that it is showing me the preview of the changes that will be taking place once i apply it that's fine now i will try to format my terraform okay so it's done for me i will also try to validate my files since i want to check the syntax also so yeah the configuration is valid so now we are ready to go and apply the changes always remember that the terraform.tf state file gets created when you do or execute terraform apply command okay will ask me to confirm now it's creating the instance okay so the changes have been done and now you can see that over here you won't be seeing terraform.tf state why because our terraform.tf state will be stored in this s3 so let's go to our s3 I'll just try to refresh it okay we'll go into this and now you can see that within this dev folder you will find your terraform.tf state file now in this it was previously it was getting stored locally right but now what happened is it got stored in our s3 bucket instead of the local system so in this way we can store our state file remotely and execute our 
terraform commands accordingly so hope you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates so thank you so much and have a nice day